Okay. Um. This is how um should I should be having like a, a cool painting on the back, but whatever. Um I don't even recognize myself today. I don't know who this person is. I have a different voice, I look different. Have I stepped into another variant of my life? did um Finis came about I was looking for something somehow I always think global and I was looking for something that would be a word that means nothing yet to people like Google did at some point um but yet something that would relate to me. I first went about it mm, looking for some word and then trying to find a meaning from it. That didn't happen. So I started thinking, okay, what do I represent? Because my art is me, or a lot of me. And um, I realized that I stand for reinvention which I've done many, many times and I think I'll have to do many more times again. Um, I believe in connectedness and the fact that everything and everyone is connected in this world, this way or another, somehow. And I believe in dualistic nature of absolutely everything. Um, maybe even more than dualistic nature. So I started thinking, um, what would have all these qualities? Um, when I thought of reinvention and rebirth, I thought, okay, it's got to be um, Phoenix. Um, because it gets reborn from its ashes every thousand years. And, you know, it lives forever, and that's what we hope um, our art uh, will do, live forever as a legacy and uh, something that we remember and people remember. Um, and, um, when I started, you know, googling the phoenix, apparently <laughs> this mythical creature exists in pretty much every folklore around the world, so hence the connectedness um, and dualistic nature of phoenix is uh, um, that it's a sacred bird, but it's also dangerous um, to humans because of birds. Um, then I remembered watching one of the 60 Minutes or something with um, this guy who invented PayPal, Elon. So he said there has to be a Z or X in the name of the company. So I thought, okay, Phoenix exists as it is. If I just do with F, E, N, I, X, that words exist as well. So I, I thought, okay, let's do Phoenix. Um, and of course, um, it doesn't mean anything, it's a new word. Um, of course, I tried to register Phoenix.com, um, but apparently somebody registered it two months before me. 
using some algorithm because it's apparently highly brandable word. Um, and then, you know, when I was um, texting someone about it, same day actually, um, I thought if that was an acronym, it would be fortunate enough not to idolize Zen. Um, and that came about when I, you know, when I was growing up or becoming someone as an adult. I thought, oh, I'm gonna be so happy because I've got so much crap falling in my head nonstop since I didn't remember myself. All those challenges that make me um, who I am today, obviously. But you know, I think I could do it without a lot of that traumatic stuff. So I thought I will be happy when I can just sit like this and be very tranquil and happy. And And then when I started painting in 2010, um, again, um, I was doing the abstract stuff, which is extremely um, physical and, you know, working it with canvas and, you know, palette knives and it's very aggressive. And I didn't notice that somebody was watching me for 30 minutes because that was at the um, Florida Art Center where there's glass walls in the studio so people get to see you. And I, I realized that I, I did not notice when somebody's watching me and at that point it dawned on me that what is chaotic to someone else to me is pure Zen because when I paint 